Hello and welcome, my dear Scott Modelers, to my small hobby YouTube channel. My name is Tomo and I've saved the best for last. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a 135th scale 170mm Canon 18 from Trumpeter. This cannon is pretty big, 424 millimeters long and has over 400 parts. So this is a challenge even for the intermediate, let alone very experienced model builder. It has numerous, numerous parts, among which photo edge parts to enhance detail, a spring for the recoil action, but I don't think it really works, and a copper tube, but not the barrel. The price for this beast is around 45 euros depending on where you live, but you can get it for more or less. The 170 millimeter Canon 18 in Mosa Falette was German heavy gun from World War II. It was intended to be deployed in the corpus level in order to provide long range counter battery support. It fielded the same role as a 210 millimeter Morser 18, as well as sharing its carriage, which was replaced entirely in 1942. Although technically it was an excellent weapon, it was expensive, difficult to maneuver, very slow to set up and tear down, so many were lost because their crew had to abandon them or risk being caught by the advancing Allied troops. Well, if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you don't know who Trumpeter is, Trumpeter is a Chinese based company that makes all sorts of model kits, even tools. So if you want to learn more, check out their webpage. Before we dive into the box, if you really like this channel, if you like the content that I make and you would like to support me directly, please like, share, comment and subscribe on every single video and you'll help me out a bunch. Thank you very much! Welcome back, if you have just joined me. Today we're going to be taking a look at a German 170mm Canon 18. This is truly a beast of a can, even the box size is pretty impressive. And the price as well. This is a pretty big model spanning 423.8 millimeters and it has over 400 parts so it's not really meant for beginners. And as you can see from the side of the box you get some goodies along with this one as well. For which parts, spring and some tubes. Upon opening the box you see all the parts neatly packed inside individual bags for better transport so they don't rattle or break off. The box is also appropriately sized for the amount of sprues and the size of sprues contained within. As you can see you get lots of them as well as all the extra goodies that I've mentioned in the intro and of course your box standard manual which is black and white and a paint scheme that comes on a separate piece of A4 paper which is basically just field German grey, you know, the usual. Here is the breakdown of all the sprues that are contained in the box within. They are numerous, very small and intricate pieces that make up this big gun. According to scalemates.com, this is a 2009 release, so all the parts should be okay and the build should be good. For me, the downside of all these models that we've reviewed so far, apart from the first one, is that they don't have a solid barrel, which means that you have to assemble it from two separate pieces that can have some negative consequences if you're not careful. But then again, this model is made for a seasoned model builder. Of course, you can see you get some tires which are nicely molded and the photo edge parts to enhance the detail. Up close and personal, you see that there's lots and lots and lots of surface detail on every single piece. It is hard to actually know what you are looking at if you are not exactly an expert on the gun. But nevertheless, it's an impressive model for the time period. There is some flash, but not that big of a deal uh, considering it's a, uh, well, over 10 years old. The plastic is nice and soft, a little bit of a semi-gloss Tamiya type of plastic and the attachment points are okay. They're okay. Um, maybe of course on the smaller pieces they're a little bit chunky, but it's to be expected because, you know, how will you be able to mold them correctly if you don't have enough room for the plastic to expand into the mold. So I need not to be so critical about this. For the amount of money you're paying for this model, you would expect at least a solid barrel because why not? I mean, the barrel is a very important feature of the gun and it should be flawless. The tires are also very well made, so you don't have to clean them. They're just ready to be put on the model. And of course, you get some photo edge parts to enhance the model's detail. You can see how big these parts are compared to one cent. When it comes to the manual, oh boy, is it big. It's an A-Type 4 booklet of a manual that has all the necessary steps to build the model. And it's pretty extensive. 
the manual has over 20 pages, 24 to be exact, and all the necessary steps inside the manual are very nicely laid out. They don't look particularly uh, overwhelming, although you can see that there are some pages that have more content than others. But I do believe that they're organized into bite-sized chunks so they would not overwhelm the builder. And that is a pretty good thing when it comes to manuals because you need this clarity of sight in order to build the model without panicking too much about what comes next. And the manual should be easy enough to read so that you don't need a PhD to actually understand what you're doing. Overall, I think that the manual and the model itself are very well designed, very well made and should be an enjoyable build for anybody who's going to be able to pick this one up and make it their own. And with this, we conclude the review. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have been, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.